These Norlin glass change the game. Welcome back to the channel. You might be wondering why we're dressed up today. We're really super excited. It's because the product that we're featuring today is packaged and so visually stunning that I felt like I had to up my game too. Let's get right into it. This is uh, comes at no better time than right now. This might actually change somebody's life. It could be yours. It could be uh, one of your loved ones. Benefit yourself, benefit somebody else. Everybody wins. I just wanted to make sure also this is not a sponsored video, although Teresa will put um, an affiliate link for you to order these on Amazon. Uh, they're on sale right now. Well, if you're watching it in December, they're on sale for Christmas. So these are a great gift for yourself, uh, somebody else who drinks if you don't know. So uh, what are we talking about today? Uh, whiskey drinking. Now you may not drink whiskey. Maybe it's scotch. Maybe it's moonshine. Maybe it's bourbon. Rye. It doesn't matter. These Norlin glass change the game. I'm gonna actually open this up. We just got these in. Now, they were designed in 2015 in Scotland. We got our hands on a pair in like 2017, but we have more friends now, so we wanted to order a couple more. So this is, as they show up, so it's kind of like an unpackaging here. Yeah, Master Distiller Jim McEwen helped design this. On here it says, designed in Iceland, refined in Scotland. Made in China. <laughs> it's on the package. So here we go. Um, what they did is uh, they realized that a lot of the nosing glasses or the glasses that people use to drink really uh, affect the flavor. And it's the same thing with wine. If you're drinking red wine, you need a red wine glass, white wine, champagne, so on and so forth. Beer, same exact thing. The, the way that you smell and you taste items together really enhances the experience. One of the things that everybody kind of noted over the time of smelling and drinking whiskey is that sometimes you're like, whoa, hey, you know, that's too much. Or you drink it and it burns and there's ethanol. Mm -hmm. So these glasses are actually designed to capture the aromatics of the actual liquor, you know, transfer, help transfer that, that smell and that flavor to your, to your nose and your taste buds. So let's unwrap this here. Very, you know, again, really, really well wrapped. These are borosilicate and handmade, so they're super light. Look at this, beautiful. You can see there's a little bit of design work. So the aesthetics, again, visually stunning, and there's some functional design in there too. I'm gonna take some pictures here, but you know, this glass will sit sideways because it's flat. I don't know if you guys can see that shape on there. Look at that. I mean, it's just, it is functional. It's to, they say it's the original double walled whiskey glass, which is also again, functional. Your hand won't warm this up. Um, speaking about that, no ice or anything, whiskey stones or anything needed in here. We'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. But uh, yeah, so there are some uh, little, you know, design and etching in here that is made to, uh, you know, take the ethanol the, when you swirl it or pour it in, some waves will, will take place. You'll see the, the alcohol moving and it breaks that ethanol up so that it doesn't go right up your nose and in your eyes. But the functional design, that's what makes this different. It's not just visually like, oh yeah, it looks great. Uh, I, I'd love to talk about that. But actually inside it really has a functional aspect that will change the entire experience, right? So this is, this is the glass. Um, traditionally, you may see folks drinking uh, whiskey out of a glass like this or a, a nose in glass like this. And again, this also looks really nice, but you can see here that the opening is small on top and wide on the bottom, which means that uh, when you're drinking, ooh, all that ethanol gets concentrated right in your nose, right in your eyes. Uh, and again, that will give, gives off that burn and makes it unpleasant for a lot of people. So they may uh, put water, you know, drip, drip water in there, water down the booze. We don't like to do that here. That is a bad way to take a good drink of liquor and water it down. So you know, it may bring out some of the additional flavors, yes, but that's only because it's hiding that ethanol. The, the, least, the least amount of um, you know, additives you can put in here, you know, water, ice, things like that, uh, the better. So that's, that's what happens here, right? Boom, concentrated, right in your nose, no good. 
And you may also say the really cool social drinking glasses, that's like the tumbler, tumbler style, right? Well, that's really open, that must be great. The problem with this, not necessarily a problem, but the ethanol does disperse, yes. However, so do the aromatics of the drink. When you're looking at this one, slightly different. Ethanol dispersed, aromatics stay, everything dispersed. So that's the difference in, in the glasses. So if this glass holds six ounces. Um, they recommend from you know 0.7 to 1.4 ounce pour um, to taste to get that to get the real flavor of, of the, the drink. So um, you know we had two different uh, two different possibilities we we're going to go with because these glasses again will work on anything high proof, and we've just come back from a trip to see Tim Smith uh, up in. Uh, Culpepper, Virginia, where he makes his uh, pot still moonshine. He actually signed this bottle for us. And we're gonna review this at a later date. So moonshine is something that people are always afraid of because that ethanol gets you know right in your face. It burns, you know, very unpleasant. Uh, but I'm gonna save this for a later, a later drink. I'm actually gonna try out this glass with another of our favorites, which is Woodford Reserve. It's a, uh, you know, it's, it's a decent price bottle. It's not expensive. It has a great flavor. It already smells good. So we're just gonna uh, attempt to enhance that with our, with our glass here. So let's, uh, let's pour some of this. I just put a little bit in there. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you could see that on the camera. But it now looks like there's a gold rim on the glass, but there wasn't a moment ago. So that's the reflection of the whiskey. That is really neat. I like that. And again, taste is probably going to, to change as well because it smells different. Let's do, let's do a little side by side. want to be careful not to drop that bottle you know I chose these because the openings are the same but this one smells so much more like vanilla and and, uh, and almost like a, a, an oak whereas this one smells a lot more harsh and uh, it's a fair, very interesting so, so, so different. Yeah, that is nice. It has a little bit of the whiskey burn to it. That's the proof, uh, or the bourbon burn, I should say. The, the proof comes through, the flavor comes through. And, and in here, In, in here, like the, I don't want to say it's an off flavor because that's not right, but um, you know, I'm not really getting the caramel and the vanilla as nuanced as I am out of the Norlin glass. So I, I do feel like this is changing the entire experience of my Woodford Reserve, which is a known entity to me. I, we, we drink it all the time, um, so we know what it tastes like, and I prefer it out of the Norlin glass. Uh, yeah, again, if you're going to order these, uh, please consider using our link it doesn't cost anything to look, only if you purchase, and the price is the same to you. So everybody wins, right? Glass recipient wins, the bourbon maker wins because we're gonna drink more bourbon. Uh, you win, you might be a hero. This could be a game-changing gift for somebody, especially uh, at the price. Now it is a little, you know, I, I think they're like 40 or 50 bucks uh, for a set. But uh, well, well worth it to enhance your drinking experience. Mm. I was going to ask Teresa if she wanted to come over and do a taste test, but I don't think I want to share anymore. Actually, we'll give her this glass. <laughs> so uh, I, I hope that helped. Um, make sure that you're uh, of legal drinking age in your local municipality, wherever you're watching this to use your Nolan glass to enhance this. I'm sure you could put soda and lemonade and whatever else you want in there. I wouldn't do it. Uh, uh, make sure that you don't put ice in there. They say it may harm 
the borosilicate glass. It's, it's just so delicate, it's light, but you can tell that it's made of good construction. Um, so yeah, keep it, uh, keep it to its intended purpose. Hmm. Almost makes this too easy to drink in some perspective. But uh, thank you for watching. Share the heck out of this video. Uh, use this symbol. Give us the thumbs up. Follow us here. Follow us on all of your favorite platforms. Uh, consider ordering these glasses. Definitely buzz with your cuz. And uh, don't forget to comment below. We'll see you next week. So, we forgot to mention that it came with this, a polishing cloth. Some instructions saying lo lovingly polish before use. So I probably should have read this before we drank. <laughs> before we did our taste test. Um, it says the glass is designed as we already knew uh, with the intentions of enjoying whiskey neat. Bartender's favorite order, whiskey neat. Uh, use of ice is not recommended. We covered that. Don't want to damage the glass. And don't use, uh, you know, well, the, the ice is not needed. And don't use whiskey stones because they may uh, damage the inner wall. Uh, also note, please hand wash using only mild detergent and a non-abrasive cloth. Do not place in a microwave or oven. <laughs> Somebody must have did it, otherwise it wouldn't be on here. So, uh, Trace also said, I can't believe this product really works. How could it not? <laughs> How could it not work? We're out. <laughs>